In this exercise, we're going to load in some casework and then place the casework in our building. The first thing we need to do is figure out where's the casework going to go. And what I'd like to do is place some casework along this wall, turn the corner, and come up this wall here. One thing that I'd like to do first, because it might get in the way, is I'm seeing this text here from our interior elevation tags. Just for right now, I'd like it to be temporarily hidden. So to do that, click somewhere up here in this white area, hold your mouse button down, and window around this elevation tag and all the text that's associated with it. When only that is highlighted, making sure you don't accidentally hit the door, let go of the button, move down to the little eyeglasses down at the bottom of the screen, and click on Hide Element. This will temporarily hide it. It's not permanently gone, and if you tried to print, it would still print. But just for right now, so that we can see past it when we're placing our cabinetry in, it's going to be temporarily hidden. Now, we need to start loading in some casework into this project because I know that there isn't any currently loaded. So come up here to the Architecture tab and select on Component. Now, move over and select on the Load Family button on the right-hand side of the ribbon. When you do that, you'll see a list of different folders, and we want to open up the Casework folder. From here, there's different categories, such as tall cabinets, wall cabinets. Technically, any of these could get loaded in, but what we want to do in this exercise is load in base cabinets. After going into the base cabinets folder, we'll see that there's a variety of different base cabinets that we can choose. The vanity cabinets are a little bit shorter than the base cabinets, and if you try to line them up, it gets to be a little bit difficult to have countertop going across the top of them because one's lower than the other. So let's take the base cabinet corner unit angled as being one of those that we want to load in. Also, I know that a sink will ultimately go in here. So if you hold down the control key on the keyboard, you can click on double door sink unit. And we'll now load this one into our project. And for some of the other base cabinets, single door and drawer will work pretty well. And I'd also like this one that has the four drawers. Keep holding down the control key and click on that one as well. Once you have these four different types of cabinets in here, move down to the bottom and click on Open. And this will load all four of those in. Move over here to your properties and take a look at the different ones that are loaded in. And if you select here on the picture in the type selector list, you'll see all those different cabinets that we just tried to load in. Now the one that we definitely know where it's going to be located at is going to be the corner one because it's going to be at the corner of these two walls. So that's going to be the best spot to start. Move down where it has the base cabinet corner. Select on the 36 inch. And now a secret to this is before you even click, hit the space bar on your keyboard. When you do that, you'll see that it'll rotate your component around to be in whatever direction you need it to be in. And when you see those two walls turn blue, that's where you want to click. And we've now placed that corner cabinet there into the corner of our room. Now this is showing up as being dashed for a couple of reasons. One is because inside of the family, it's actually drawn out as being dashed in a plan view. The other reason is, ultimately there will be a countertop put on top of this. So when the countertop is put on top of it, it would be hidden underneath the countertop. Now let's change to a different kind of family. Here we have the double door sink unit a little bit lower down. That's the one that I actually want. Let's pick the big boy, the 48 inch one. Hit the space bar again. When it looks like your cursor is in the same direction as the wall, that's exactly where you want it to be. And then just line these two up and then click to place. Now I want to put at least one cabinet over here and at least one cabinet over here. I'm personally going to put in a 24 inch single door and drawer cabinet in this location here. In fact, I'm going to put two of them together side by side. And I'm going to see what the other cabinet is that we have up here, the four drawer. I'm going to select on that, spin it around, and put it in place. You can hit escape a couple times on the keyboard to get out of the command. And now finally, I always like to look at my cabinets before I just accept them as being in there in the way that we like them. Because depending on how they're made, you want to make sure that the drawers aren't getting slammed against the wall instead of out into the room area. To do that, come underneath the View tab, over here to 3D View, and we're going to place a camera inside of this room. Somewhere over here near this dimension, click once, make this cone come way out into here. Whenever your cursor is somewhere into this next room, click in order to be able to place this. And when you're done, you'll be able to see the ceilings, the walls, 
as well as the casework that makes this view up. Also, if you want to see a little bit lower down, you can click on the little dots that show up there and drag it down. If for some reason you can't see the ceiling or you want to see less of the ceiling, you can click on the little control dot and either drag it down or drag it up in order to be able to see more of your casework.